Pisces, hi. So uh, this is going to be a reading for March 23rd through the 29th. And um, I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll uh, close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Uh, let's take a look here, Pisces. Wow, okay. So the overall energy for the reading is the Seven of Cups. Choices, a lot of choices. You've got choices opening up for you or feel that you do. Uh, in the recent past, you get the King of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the Fool card. This is, you know what this is looking like? Like um, somebody that has it good, you know, in their life, pretty much. It's okay. It's not the greatest, but it's okay. It's manageable, right? Things are going good. Things are... Maybe this person has even a person, you know, and everything's fine. But this person wakes up one day and they're like, I want to go climb Everest. You know, like what? It, it has that vibe to it that uh, there's a whole lot of determination of leaving something behind and going into the unknown. So this could be this could be the person you're dealing with. In the current situation, however, you get the Empress, the King of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. That's a power couple right there, the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Those are two very passionate people. Those are a match made in heaven, pretty much. And the Empress... This is telling me that there's uh, a lot of growth on somebody's part. A lot of knowing and feeling that things are okay, things are going in a good place here. Things are heading towards something great. And even if they're not, this person is still in that attitude of it's going to be okay. Whatever happens is going to be fine. You know, this could be you, this could be them. I'm kind of getting that this is them. Um, In the immediate future, you get the Justice card, the Knight of Cups, and the Hangman. Somebody's... um. <sighs> To fix things in a situation, somebody has to open their heart. Um, not sure exactly who that is. I kind of see this as being you, to be quite frank. But you're taking um, quite some time to think about a way on how to do that. You know, on how to be more open, how to make things right here. Because I feel like... Uh, Right now, the scale is like this, right? Where the two of you are balanced, the two of you match energetically. I, I feel there's a shift coming up for you, too. And somebody needs to bring this back. And I feel like that's you. Could be them. So, let's uh, clarify. Let me clarify the Seven of Cups. You get the Queen of Swords and the Three of Cups and the Devil. So, somebody thinks they have options. Or somebody made a choice between two people, leaving the other person feeling like they're just an option. Um, and they didn't go about things in the right way, in the fair way. They were like, it's going to be my way or the highway here. It's going to be what I want, what I need. Now, I don't know who did that. I'm kind of getting it's your person. But somebody made a call here. And I'm not saying it's a good choice or a bad choice. Just the way it's been made. Not that great. You know? Uh, let's see. Let me clarify that Seven of Swords in your recent past. The 
Queen of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Strength card. Uh, you walked away. You walked away from a situation. Uh, there was still love there, a lot of love. So your walk and wake came with a lot of pain also because there was still love there. You knew you had to be strong through it. You knew you had to do this. You didn't want to. But it, it's one of those things where you had to. Uh, let me clarify the full. <clears throat> the Three of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Chariot. Um, yeah, you wanted to escape this. I feel like you may have um either moved or moved away physically you know sometimes when bad things happen to us the first tendency for most of us would be to move as far away as possible from the situation right physically somehow we think that's gonna make it better you knew that that by going or removing yourself from this even physically getting yourself really really far away from the situation you kind of knew that this is self-deceptive because wherever you go thousands and thousands of miles away you still need to deal with those feelings you know you knew that but you did it anyway it's looking like um you wanted to go fast you wanted to disappear here that could be you that could be them but it's a fast moving out of a situation. Let's see what's going on here, because things are looking pretty good here on the current situ in the current situation. But let's see what's hiding underneath the soul. This whole good goody goody. Let me clarify the Empress. Yeah, that's you. That's you heading towards happiness, and I feel like you're not even seeing it quite yet. You're starting to taste it, starting to touch it, that happiness, whatever that means to you. It's looking like it's coming. You're feeling it. It's there. Um, you haven't reached it yet, though. You're walking towards it. But it's so freaking great with the sun and the ten of pentacles. That's pure happiness right there. You know? Uh, let's see, this King of Wands, this could be another situation that you're dealing with. You may have walked away from something and finding somebody else, somebody that's right there. So, for the King of Wands, you get the Empress, the Seven of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, no more suffering, no more pain, walking away from this, getting into your power, feeling, uh, feeling really good in your own skin, feeling like... You're beautiful, you're charming, you're this and that and the other, you know. You're, you, there's a lot of positivity, a lot of assertive, assertiveness, a lot of determination, and a lot of passion. And how you feel in your own skin, pretty much. Ah, so good, so refreshing. Let's see the Queen of Wands. The Six of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. You're um, you're moving with somebody towards a very balanced situation here. There's a lot of passion, a lot of determination here. Um, you're meeting halfway. It's looking like the two of you are running towards each other here, or this person is running towards this person, but they're so freaking happy and passionate about life in general that they're like, okay, whoever's coming, let's go. You know, join me if you want to. And that's moving the situation to uh, a, a pace of natural flow of things. Instead of trying to have things in a certain way. Which I don't see you doing throughout the reading. You left a very painful situation. And now you're like, let's go. Let's see what, what happens next. And what happens next is a lot of good stuff. So, 
what's next here let me clarify the justice card in your immediate future the page of cups the two of pentacles and the moon somebody's wanting to possibly reconcile possibly make things right with you um they want that they're not letting you know they secretly want that so I'm not sure if they're going to do anything about it. Let's see this Knight of Cups. Maybe this is them doing something about it. This could be just about anybody. It doesn't have to be the person from the past. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. Somebody, I feel like a neutral energy kind of here. You know, if somebody wanted wanting to make things right with you. But let's see. So for the Knight of Cups, you get the Five of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, and the Hermit. Yeah, somebody's definitely thinking a lot about how to make things right with you because they're sad as fuck. Things are out of sorts with you, are out of balance, and this person wants something here to balance things out, apparently. Because the way things are with you, they're really, really upset about it. Let me clarify the hangman because I feel like this is you trying to, if this person will approach you with, let's see what we can do here. I feel like your response is, let me think about it with this hangman here. So, <sighs> wow. All major arcanas here for you ending the reading. So you get the Hangman, the Death card, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Tower. Poof. Um, no more thinking about it. So you might not even want to think about it. You're, you're changing your attitude towards um, everything here, towards, so when this, so in the past, it might have been a situation where, or several situations where the two of you came back together, you fell apart, you came back together, you fell apart, right? Um, you're not doing that anymore. You're not allowing that to happen anymore. You're like, no, I don't even have to think about it. Things have changed. I changed. This is not going to go on like this anymore. And that's going to create a tower moment for them, most likely. Because they're not going to expect this from you. I see you heading towards happiness. And what, whatever it is that you're doing, it's looking like you're getting it. You're doing it right. You're doing it uh, in such a way that it's going to take you to happiness. So... Keep on doing that. Uh, for them, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this is going to be a wake-up call for them. Let's uh, pull some cards from the universe. The Page of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Strength card. So this person, they might be a Leo. This person that you're dealing with, there's a lot of fiery kind of energy here, especially Leo. Um, they're thinking that if they're strategic, strategic about it and they're taking small steps, you two are going to be able to reconcile one day. Um, they're hoping for that. Um, they're taking steps towards that. You, you probably have no idea that they're doing that because I feel like you ended things here in the past with this person. So yeah, uh, that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope this helped and I'll see you next time.